Hey there peeps, Mimi here, and welcome to Danmachi Memoria Freeze to the first anniversary of the Japanese version! And it is fully produced by the original author, which is really cool. So you really should read the story that's, you know, coming with a tale event. Ina's so pretty. Woohoo! Have the grand days and goes by. Meow. Black twisters. Oh my, me. Run! Run, peeps, run! Who's gonna save us from these black twisters? Who? Who you gonna call? Ryu and Chloe and Anya, apparently. Amya's evil attacks Orario and the world. We get to explore the world. <laughs> oh, Belle's hanging out with Lefia. Sus. Sus, sus, sus. Ooh, is it a dragon? She looks so sparkly. I just love that they do, they do these animations for the updates. You know it's bad when it flashes red. He doesn't even fit in the screen. Part one event for the tale story begins today. Clear all. Normal quests, inc including part two, on 628 to get another bond for Hastia. Whew. Choo. Okay. So let's go look at notices. You can see that we have a quest campaign. There's things that are going here. Right now, we're going to focus on the news for this video. And in a different one, I'm going to talk about all the new units and what I think about them. I have not looked at them, so we're going into this blind. So... Starting off at the bottom, we have Rampage Season June is available. Um, again, Rampage is normal as usual. You, it's kind of survival mode um, to clear all the floors in order for you to get materials to create uh, weapons for your characters. And in this one, um, the Grand Axe for what's his face guy that I don't like. Um, who is this? I think it's the, the, the sword. Garrett, I think is, it is, that uses the sword. The, the, well, I mean the axe. So yeah, you can create this this axe if you play Rampage. Choo choo. And get the stone for the axe. Crafting, we've talked about all of this. Check out my videos on crafting. They, they hit the spot. And so, I mean, Rampage for June will be going all the way through July 9th. So just under a month for Rampage. So get on Rampage. There's a lot of hidden irises and volleys just by completing floors. It's a great way of getting some volleys so um, better than that quest that we have. Now, new Heroic Trials Disguised Bodyguard now available. So as we know, Heroic Trials are very hard uh, battles that you can actually get some medals in, in and after you get enough, you are able to exchange it for a bond and this time the bond will be for the Disguised Bodyguard Ryu unit, um, which is a four star, so this is awesome. It is high difficulty, as we've called out before. Um, there's three stages, normal, hard, and very hard. Don't worry if you can't complete very hard. Even at hard, just keep doing it, and you'll be able to get um, enough to be able to lock the bond. Um, you'll get a feet thing if you complete it in, in very hard. Oh, also, yes, um, you can need to use the Challenger Orbs. It unlocks a quest for about an hour. Well, for an hour for you to be able to use it. Just spam those potatoes, and that way you can get it done in a day or two. And you can unlock this until this, the 5th of July. Okay, so that is that. Now we have Great Tale Grand Day now available. So this is a tale event, and as we saw before, clear all the quests at normal, including part two, starting to eight, um, the 28th of this month, and get a bond for the Ceremonial Flame Hestia. 
So part one is going from now to the 9th, and part two starts the 28th and will also end on the 9th, which is great for people that start playing after the 28th. You'll still have a chance to play part one of the event. Um, let's see. It's produced by the original novel author. That is awesome. Like, I love that the author is actually involved with this. It just, it calls, it, it's great for the game, but that even the original author, author is invested in this. That is great. Uh, part two will be on the 28th. Um, you'll be able to get uh, different things. Um, oh, a lock day for unit um, outfit stories and characters from Grand Date. The, uh, you'll be um, a lock day for the outfit stories. Uh, the characters will be scheduled at the end of the event. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, because the stories for the outfits are during Grand Date. They're not going to give us the stories for the outfits until after. So if you know, it's not a glitch if you don't see the stories for the outfits as you can uh, you obtain them. Um, event description for Grand Day Part One: Clear the quest and progress the story. Um, new item: Gnome ticket early. Um, ooh, oh my! There's a lot here. Okay, so you're gonna be um, so as you clear quest and progress to the story. There's no unlock condition for quest and Grand Day. Clear quest in order to enjoy the breathtaking story. There is no narrative difference in all difficulties. You can only earn the first time clear reward for the story in normal difficulty. Okay, Chance to earn the new item Gnome Ticket early. You can earn the new item go Gnome Ticket from the Event Gacha and Event Exchange shops. You can exchange it for luxurious items such as a 4 star gacha ticket from the exchange shop opening soon. Don't miss the opportunity and collect as many tickets as possible and you can check how many you have in your inventory. Don't forget to play the event every day to draw the, from the event gacha for the grand, uh, grand gift. So make sure you play the event. Um, clear the mission daily, clear a quest, grand day to earn a grand day medal times 100 to draw from the event gacha, uh, grand gift times 10. Oh my gosh! Thank you, Technia, for, <laughs> for hosting my stream with 178 viewers. Thank you so much. Me out of meow! <laughs> Welcome peeps to the stream. We're going over the updates for uh, Denmachi. Welcome peeps. <laughs> so as we were saying, um, don't forget uh, to uh, play the event every day. Make sure that you you just play. Come on, there's so many good things in the gacha. Oh my gosh, we're being raided. Welcome peeps. Welcome, welcome, meow meow. Okay, so um, get to the event items. So like usual, there's three levels of items that you can use to uh, use from the exchange shop. And these, um, you know, you'll get them as you progress. Uh, apparently this black lump will be the, for the higher difficulties where you can collect them and you'll be able to use them to um, get different things. Yes, um, if you logged in earlier, you should have gotten the 400 Iris um, login bonuses. Um, the new bell is amazing. Oh my gosh. I have not gotten to look at the bell yet. Um, I'm, I'm making my way through the notices first and then I'm going to spoil myself with the units. Hey! So Lux, thank you for the follow. Meow, meow. Okay. So let's see. Um, by using the gold bond, max two, you can limit break the three star adventures this unit. Okay. I mean, gold bonds are great. Um, especially hey. for some of the three star units that you have. Tigger, thank you for that follow. Meow, meow. Oh, no worries. Thank you, Tech Network, for joining me. I, I need to catch some of your streams. Okay, so um, clear time limited um, to receive useful items. And, okay, so yeah, complete time limit quests. Never let them go waste. They're giving you so many things. Okay, so let's keep going. Tail event, normal. Ah! Okay, then we have the episode where you release. Gotcha. So, as we've talked about before, the Rio episode is available now. So, we have a celebration gotcha for it, uh, where we get the special Rio hey. and Seer uh, medal. Beautiful. Thank you so much for that follow. Yeah, and meow. And so, we are gonna have a gotcha for the new Rio and Seer in tuxedo and dress costumes. And of course, Ryu is an adventure and Seer is an assist unit. Then we, okay, so we have um, 
it's gonna be a step banner for the four, uh, first, fourth, seventh, and tenth draw on here. And we will talk about these units, but not in this video. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. And that's all we know so far. Oh, it's, well, we actually now know more. Um, Ryu is a balance type, and oh, Seer is a special gauge charge. Oh, that is very tempting. That is so tempting. Oh my gosh. And Ryu does ultra hey. win magic attack with 30% stun. Alice Fairy, thank you so much for that follow. Meow, meow, meow. I haven't seen a, a unit that did special attack gauge charge. Oh, oh, that is going to be so good for war games. Like, if you're just trying to do this so much faster. Oh, oh, like her plus five. Ooh. Peace. The decisions for which banner to summon for are hard. Because, I mean, at, at you know... At base, 33%. As, as a six star, 66. Maxed out, uh, max limit break, 100%. Ooh. She, she she just wins this right now. Right, Meow? She she got this. Oh, she, she's, she's awesome. Okay, so hey. we got Reet, four star. Oh, the four star. Roa Beachy, thank you so much for the follow, Meow, Meow. So there is a 4% chance uh, for uh, the 4 stars, 2% for assists, as usual. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're scrolling. We gotta, we gotta keep going. Grande gotcha available. We're almost at the end of these notices. Almost. Because I really want to go look at the units. Oh, they're right here. Oh. Oh. Okay, so starting today, starting today, uh, we have uh, the new Bell, Hestia, Eyes, and Lepia units. So, the, you know, as usual, the gotchas start at different time periods. There's six types of gotchas for the event. The gotcha rates are double for four-star units this time only. So from this, um, from my understanding, the gotcha rates, it's not that there's more chance for you to get a four-star unit. It's really around which units you can get because all of the units will be a, a part of of this banner so so be careful and um, yes yeah, something that um, people are talking about is the eyes banner uh, so these are the um, this first one the grand day succession gotcha starts today the is 618 through um, July 9th and it has Hestia and Bell on it when a four-star unit is drawn from a non guarantee pool you may obtain an existing unit you can only pull from it once a day with paid irises also the grand day legend gotcha 628 through the 29th i mean from to the 9th of july so this one is starting later on so the eyes and the eyes and love you banner are starting in about 10 days eyes is on the 28th but we should be able to know what she does so we should be able to know if we need to we need to save. Um, one new force are unit guarantee on the first, fourth, seventh, and tenth draw. So it is a step banner, which I really like this kind of banners. And then also starting today, we have a banner that you can pull, just pick up. You could just pick up this this guy. You can pick up Bell uh, for four hundred. It's guaranteed. I think. Um. One four star bell is guaranteed from a love and gotcha. So pay 400 irises and you can get him. And then on the 28th, you'll have the same type of banner but for eyes. So you can at least get one. Then we have um, the same thing for Lefty on the 28th. And on the 28th, we'll have the same type of paid banner for Hestia. And let's see. Gotcha unit rates are um, truncated to three decimals. See the gotcha details for more information about unit rate. Um, okay, so we need to actually check out. Um, I'm clicking the button; it's not taking me. Um, I just wanted to see the rest of the details. 
Oh. Okay, hold up. Um, the draw list. So we actually have everything. Everything is in the pool pool. So double rates means that if you get a four star, you have double chance that it'll be one of the new ones, but it could be an old four star unit. So just be aware, it doesn't mean that there's 8% chance of you getting a four star. You still have the same chance of getting a four star. It just, you have higher chance of getting one of the new ones. And just because it's here already, Bell is a power attack type. He does an AOE ultra fire magic attack index of strength with temporary strength boost. Um, common sales foes lowers power attack and self strength up by 75% for four turns. Foe high power attack. And I mean, at least he lowers our power attack. Um, hmm. This is very interesting. And she nulls ailments to herself and then for allies. Oh, so she would protect you from poison or seal or stun. Ooh, ooh, even record buster. I mean, the, the rates here are, are hilarious here. <laughs> um, anyways, um, let's go. Um, we wanted to go see the last notice. We need to see the last notice. And the last notice um, is the memorial box. I will be talking about the memorial box in detail later on about whether it's worth buying or not. This is kind of like the Kino memorial box that we got before, except that they also contain different items inside of them. And I mean, let's see, you'll get gotcha tickets. Hmm, let's click. The, there's you can only buy one per person for the memorial box the enhanced bundled you can get three per person Which is kind of the same as before um, as we did for the uh, keynote banner for the anniversary memorial box You get an adventure exchange ticket an assist exchange ticket a four-star gotcha draw ticket and another four-star draw ticket times two and Oh, from the you get to draw from the anniversary anniversary gotcha ones and then two gotcha tickets to pull from four stars. So that's cool. I mean, if you spend money in this game and are willing to spend the money in the game, it's a great deal. It's a great deal. It's a great deal. I keep telling myself that. Gotta keep telling myself that. <laughs> And also the enhancement bundle set is different than we did maybe that than we've gotten before like in the Kino bundle So this one actually contains a four-star adventure gotcha ticket um, and also for an assist And also you can pull ones from the anniversary 11 draw gotcha, but it also gives you bundle, you know bundled um, Fallenus and Exilia books large so So that's good I, I'm very, I'm going to get this. I'm definitely going to get this. Um, just because I want to be able to pull from the anniversary gotchas more. And the only thing that we have not talked about is um, just because the gotcha for eyes is not available, we did not um, look at what they do. So let's, let's see, adventure. No, not click that button. Oh, it won't let me click on them. Oh. Okay, so we're going to all them. She does an ultra power attack with temporary strength boost for her special. She does a mid power attack with temporary stat boost and strength minus 30 for four turns and then does a foam mid power attack with temporary strength boost and power assist and then low power attack and cell strength Okay, so she buffs. I was hoping that she'd get an AOE high power attack. Um, hmm. Am I pulling? I'm really pulling. And let's look at Alethia. And she does um, foes ultra uh, fire magic attack with temporary magic boost. Foes low magic, low fire magic attack and magic attack plus 75 for four turns and 
high fire magic attack with temporary magic boost and fast mid fire magic attack with temporary magic boost. Okay, so that is all of the brand new units and it is very tempting to pull from all of them and I probably will be pulling from all of them and I will be doing my summons right after this and you'll get to check them out at some other point in a different video but this video has just covered all of the updates for Grand Day all of things that we've gotten it's amazing I'm very excited to start playing with all the things and I hope you are too so let me know in the comments below which units are you pulling for and why Thank you so very much for watching, and until next time, meow to meow.